Welcome back to part two for this tutorial, the growing vines. And where we left off, uh, we finished up the masking. So what we're going to do now is, is to add our effect. Uh, go ahead and click on here, and we're going to bring up our composition. Let's scroll that over a little bit more. And. One thing I did want to do, I, I saw when uh, we were switching over here, switching the recording over, that this wasn't covered too well. So I'm just going to go back in and match this up a little bit easier. Um, bring it back in. And again, when you, when you magnify in, it, it tends to help you cover this mask a little bit better because we want our mask not to be gigantic. Uh, we want it just to be slim enough to cover the green stroke that's already appearing in vector. Okay. Here we go. Now, now that we have it masked, what you want to do is add the effect to this particular uh, motion. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to generate. We're going to come down here to stroke. And that brings up our masks. So what we're going to do is we want to click on here where it says all masks. Okay. Very good. And we want to adjust the brush size. Um, you could do it, try 11. I think that'd be fine. Uh, better bring that to 12. Scroll that ahead. A little bit more. There we go. We want to make sure that the mask covers everything. You can zoom in if you like, uh, Command Plus, and you can double check to make sure that your uh, vector is covered, and then zoom back out is fine. <clears throat> okay, the animation portion of it happens to deal with this particular tool here, which is the end tool. You can basically do start or end. I kind of use the end tool, um, and as we scroll back, you can see that the mask uh, follows the line of that vector stroke, and it covers it, but that doesn't look too pleasing. It doesn't look like our, our finished product uh, looked when we first examined it, so what we have to do is a simple um, adjustment here to the paint style. Come down here where it says on original image and you want to hit reveal or an original image. Okay. Once that is selected then you see your original image and then scroll back the end and you will see the lines disappear. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now to animate this, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take the current time indicator and we're going to bring it all the way to the end at the six second um, and we're going to go ahead and leave it at 100% opacity and we're going to go ahead and click the stopwatch here next to end. We're going to bring our timeline back to do another uh, keyframe and we're going to bring that to zero. Perfect. Now when this renders, um, you can see that the lines grow. There we go. Take a second or so to to render. Um, there we go. And we'll click off this to give it the appearance of what it would look like without the uh, masking dots there. Very nice. And that is how we make vines grow. And again, you can do this with lettering. You can do this with uh, multiple images if you like. Um, you would probably have to adjust the um, brush size and brush hardness for certain types of, of images that you want to appear. But it, it's a basic system to get things to grow within the screen, and it's quite fun. Good luck, and thank you for tuning in.